Hi and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be talking about three amazing NHS UK jobs that you should be focusing on right now if you're not already doing so. Which means that whether you're out of the UK planning to move to this beautiful amazing country, you can and you should and you must be applying for these three jobs that I'm talking about. But most importantly, if you're already in the UK, you're working in domiciliary care, you're working in care homes, you're working for private companies, it doesn't matter where you are, if you don't work for the NHS, you should be gravitating towards these opportunities and applying for these three jobs so if you're new to my channel as usual you're very much welcome if you are a returning subscriber i do appreciate your time and i hope that you're implementing and let me tell you 2024 i'm calling it a year for reawakening those of you that have been procrastinating those of you that have been dormant those of you that have been part of the 99 percent of people that watch video after video those of you that have been receiving unfortunate emails let's leave all of that to 2023 so that we're starting 2024 with a new page and with new opportunities, new experiences and new success for all of us. So let me tell you why I like these three opportunities. I like the first opportunity because they've got loads of vacancies. So it's got the highest number of vacancies in the NHS compared to any other opportunity. Because there are so many vacancies, it is a massive advantage if you put yourself forward. And by the way, if you haven't joined this family, take this opportunity now to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. I drop a new video on YouTube every single day because of my dedication to ensure that you don't only have access to the best opportunities that are in the UK, but you're putting yourself forward and you're progressing in your career. Because let me tell you, it's not about getting to this country. It's what you do with yourself in this beautiful country that is ultimately going to make it worthwhile or not. So hit the subscribe button, join the family. And then job number two, I like job number two because it is the least stressful job of all these three, which means that if you choose to go for job number two, you're going to have an amazing time at work. It is not very stressful at all. It is absolutely amazing. That's why I like it. And also one thing, if you're not aware, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped a link in the comment section below. I share information such as what I'm sharing in today's video directly to your amazing inbox. I also share info about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or switch if you're already in the UK on a student visa, on any other visa and all of that. So if you check the comment section below, it won't take you 20 seconds to join. You drop your name and email and you're part of that newsletter so that I send that info directly to you. You're also going to find my contact details on there. So it's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address. If you're watching this and you're thinking, oh my goodness, Melvis, I've got no idea how to get started. I need support with this. I need one-to-one -one support. Then get in contact with me ASAP. Because like I say, time waits for nobody. 2024 is all about the reawakening so that those of you that have been struggling and all of that, we all get to succeed together as one. So again, check that in the comment section below and do join. So job number three, what do I like? What I like the most about job number three is the fact that it is the highest paying of all these three jobs. But most importantly... Is going to give you access to some of the best opportunities that there are to progress in your career. As you know, I'm all about career progression because I started my own UK journey as a carer in a nursing home. You know, I did domiciliary care, I did support, I've done all sorts of carer jobs and I thought to myself, look, this cannot be the end of me. No. And so I studied nursing and I now work as an advanced nurse practitioner, which is the most senior clinical nursing, you know, position in the profession so i've worked incredibly hard in my last you know 13 years or however long i've been in the uk and this is why i'm passionate about this because there are lots of opportunities in this country it's just about taking them so let's get deep into it job number one healthcare assistance i'm sure that if you're somebody who is aware of these opportunities it shouldn't come as a surprise because i i already said that they've got loads of vacancies so if you apply to work as a healthcare assistant for the nhs you're going to have access to loads and loads of opportunities but let me tell you the only thing that is separating you from that job is the ability to present an amazing application because let me tell you, if you are not able to put up a really good application and you don't understand what each job is looking for, it is very difficult to get jobs for the NHS. I'm saying this because I have a private career coaching program where I offer one-to-one -one tailored, individualized and personalized guidance. And so I go through lots and lots of supporting information for people that are applying for NHS jobs every day. When I look at many of these supporting information, I'm just like, girl or boy, by the way. 
There is no way that you can get a job for the NHS with such a supporting information because there are components that have got to be incorporated within that supporting information irrespective of the job that you're applying for within the NHS for you to be successful. And it is your duty, therefore, as a candidate to know what is needed from the specific employer for the specific job that you're applying for. So healthcare assistant jobs are no different. So it's got the highest number of vacancies. They offer visa sponsorship because there's a lot of brouhaha going on with some people saying, hey, did I offer sponsorship? Did they not? The problem is that if your application isn't good enough, it is very, very difficult. It can take time to get good at it. As with any skill, it's a matter of practice and improving every single time. If you have any questions, by the way, as I'm going along, please do leave that in the comment section below um, so that I can join you. I can answer what is your situation at the moment? What you know, what are you struggling with? What is the challenge? Are you already in the UK? Are you still out of this beautiful country? Are you planning to move here? You know, what is really going on? Have you got any challenges? Like I say, leave that in the comment section and I'll be able to join you there. Also, if you're keen, by the way, to join my private coaching program, if you check the description box below or the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to find a link to join. It's got all the information that you need to know about the program. But if you've got further questions, then do feel free to contact me directly. And I can answer those questions that you have and provide more details about the program. Like I say, my private coaching program is only for the top 1% of people. It's not for everybody. As with any good thing in life, I don't expect all of you to join. It's only people who are focused on their personal and professional development like myself. So that program is exclusive for those people. Again, like I say, it's not for everyone. But when you join, you get, you know, one-to-one -one sessions. We talk about your experiences, your knowledge, your qualifications, the best jobs to go for, how to apply, which companies are recruiting, the links to apply, what is expected, your CV, supporting information in the case of NHS jobs, like what we're talking about today, the healthcare assistant job, we would go through how do you know which ones offer sponsorship? Because all NHS hospitals in the UK, all organizations, are able to offer visa sponsorship but not all jobs are offering visa sponsorship so how do you as a candidate identify those jobs that offer sponsorship from the ones that don't those are the things that we go through in the program because there's information that is not for youtube because you need a lot of detail you need to tailor it to the individual to be able to make sense of it so that is really what the program is about interview preparation what can you expect during the interview what questions do they ask how do you respond to those questions what are you know there's quite a lot involved like i say but it is well worth the extra effort because if you're watching this and you're part of the top one percent then yes that program is perfect for you but if you're part of the 99 percent then keep watching video after video after video on youtube and all I'm going to say is best wishes because, look, you should have left that, by the way, in 2023 and do not dare to carry that on to 2024 because it's not going to help you. It's not going to serve you. And so what is the point? Absolutely nothing. Anyway, job number two is the maternity support worker. Look, I've shared information about this previously and it's a job that is not stressful at all. It is the least stressful of all the three jobs that we're talking about. So the NHS also recruits for this. They've got loads of vacancies for you to apply. As we speak on their website, these vacancies are there. Because I know you may be watching so you're thinking, Melvis, but how on earth do you apply for these jobs? So the NHS website is where they recruit for these vacancies. So you need to go directly onto the NHS website to be able to access these opportunities. So um, again, similar to the previous role, you've got to have a deep understanding of the role, you know, the expectations, the person that is expected to do this job. And in fact, you need to become the person that is needed for the job if you have any chance of being successful. The supporting information, obviously, is very important when it comes to NHS jobs. If you don't write it properly, thoroughly, efficiently, then like I said, it's very challenging. You've also got the interview to prepare for when you're going for an NHS interview. Look, it is something that you need to be ready for it. When I see that somebody has even struggled to get an interview for the NHS and they've missed that opportunity, it's very heartbreaking. Because let me tell you, getting an interview is not easy. So if you do get one, make sure that you nail it and you 100% smash it and come up getting the job successfully. 
and so again there's quite a lot that is involved and if you're watching this by the way and you're part of my private coaching program you can just check on the community hub there's a lot of information on there go through the recordings from our previous live sessions so that you can get to know what these jobs are about but most importantly give me a call after watching this video to say melvis Look, I didn't know about all these jobs, but I'm keen to apply because one of the reasons why I dedicate my time to sharing videos every single day on YouTube is because I know that many of you here are part of the top 1%. Many of you here are members of my private coaching program. So this gives you information about some of the opportunities that you may have missed in the live sessions or that you may not be aware of. And so it's an opportunity for you to say to me, Melvis, yes, I'm interested in those opportunities. How do we get started? And then I can support you, obviously, with that supporting information, the guidance, how do you apply and all of that, you know, that is associated with it. But you know, if you, like I say, have any concerns, do feel free to leave them in the comment section. Especially those of you who are not members of the program, obviously, because, you know, you can just leave your comments in the comment section. And then I can, you know, give some tips, some advice. Other people also um, can join in, obviously, to advise you, depending on their circumstances. If they've gone through the process, the journey, and all of that. So, again, do share this video, by the way with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of what these opportunities are and indeed encourage them to put themselves forward. Because some people think that they are not deserving of some of these amazing opportunities. But I'll say that if you're in this country offering your services, then you deserve the best as much as anyone else. In fact, you deserve actually a lot more. Because like me, when I think about myself, I'm like, look, I deserve nothing but the best. When it comes to my career, my opportunities, my journey, I do not compromise. I do not need to settle for less. And I think this is the mistake that many of us make. When we're still back home, we're very ambitious. We're very driven. We're willing to do everything to get to the UK. But once we get to this country, I don't know what happens. People are just like deflated with the challenges that are presented. But look, that is a time for you to really face everything head on. Go for it and be pushful. You know, show who you are. That is the time to do that so that you can continue to rise and you don't get stuck at the bottom. So job number three is the good old nursing associate. Look, this is a job that, you know, is beautiful because if you want to transition into nursing, into midwifery, into medicine, it's going to give you a really good chance to do so. And if you're a nursing associate and you're working in the UK, obviously, you can only do two years to become a qualified nurse. So this is an amazing pathway to pursue for those of you that want to get into nursing, to become a qualified nurse. And the best thing about this pathway, by the way, is that if you're using it to get into nursing, you don't need to write out, you don't need to write OET, nothing at all. Upon successful completion of the course, the you know, organization is going to send your details to the NMC, which is the Nursing and Midwifery Council in the UK that regulates the practice for nurses, midwives and nursing associates. And you're going to have a PIN number where you can work in the UK. And obviously the pay is the highest of all the three jobs that we've mentioned in today's video. So again... When you're choosing some of these opportunities, you need to be thinking, what are your priorities? You know, is it to earn more? Is it to be more relaxed? Is it to, you know, have an easier job? Is it to have more chances of success? You've got to decide that for yourself because it's something that is crucial to think about when you're applying for any job. What is the priority at this point in time? Do I want to go for the easiest jobs? And it's okay. If you want a job that is easier to do, why not? You know, you know yourself better. You don't need to put yourself under unnecessary pressure um, for no reason. So that's why when I'm sharing these opportunities, I tell you which one pays more, which one is more stressful, which one is less stressful, which one has more opportunities because these jobs are not the same. Somebody who works as a maternity support worker is nothing compared to somebody who works as a nursing associate. The rules are completely different. That is what I mean. So when you're choosing, you need to be really smart. And that's why if you're a member of my coaching program, I ensure that you understand what all the differences are. And like I say, if you're watching this video and you've got any questions, do contact me directly and I'll explain it to you. Also drop a message in your nursing community. Hope that's absolutely fine. Or during our live session on Thursday, we're going to go through that in a lot of detail as we normally do. You can also check the previous sessions because obviously all our sessions are recorded so that um, depending on the option that you have, if you've missed the session, then you know, you're welcome to go through it at your convenience. So which of these opportunities are you going to go for? Which one do you think is the best? Which one are you sat there thinking, oh my God, Melvis, this is just perfect for me. Please 
do go for it because there's nothing better than progressing in your career, excelling, thriving, and becoming part of the top 1% of people. Like I always say, my videos, my channel, my services, my coaching program is only for the top 1% of people. So if you're watching my videos, congratulations, you're up for a lot of success. You've got the potential to succeed. You're not the same as everyone else. You know, if one person can succeed, that person should be you. So there's no reason ever to compromise when it comes to your goals, when it comes to wanting more, when it comes to being more, and when it comes to deserving more. You know, there's no reason why. So again, what do you think about this? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, by the way, like, are you for real? Hit the subscribe button so that you're notified every single day when I drop a video on here. Like I say, I dedicate my time to dropping these videos every day. But most importantly, if you need me to support you personally, then check out the description box below or the about section and consider joining my private coaching program. Um, but obviously, if you've got any questions, then check the comment section below. You've got a link to my newsletter. Um, it's free to join. When you join, obviously, I send that info directly to your amazing inbox. So, I do appreciate your time, by the way. Check out these other videos that I've linked up here just to give you more information about other opportunities that are currently available here in the UK. So, I appreciate your time and check out this video right here.